Hello YouTube, we're shooting here at our Evergreen Disc Golf Course Pond again. And as you can see from the title of today's video, we're going to be doing a Kitech Lure Challenge. I think this should be a good one. Hopefully, they're going to bite it pretty good. Uh, I want to say about two or three weeks ago, I was throwing the Kitech. It was this one actually, the IU, AYU, Kitech Sling Impact Fat, 4.3 inch. I caught some bass on that and I did catch some on the bluegill flash I didn't have a pack of them though I just had a couple in that other pack so it was like half and half of each color but here's the bluegill flash 3.8 inch a little bit smaller we are gonna be fishing these but since I only have two left in this pack one's right here one is already rigged up on my rod right here medium heavy 12 pound P line floral clear Wow there's a lot of ants here I just noticed that and I'm sitting here Let's make this intro real quick. I want to show you guys. I made a little list of some future videos that I'm going to be making. So as you can see here, I have... I've already done Bass Pro Shop's brand, Z-Man brand, and the Yum brand. You guys would have seen those videos by now. I'm possibly going to do the 10,000 Fish, Biospawn, Guggen Squad, Yamamoto. Today we're doing the Kitech, Six Sense, and Missile Baits. And then I'm going to do some more type-specific challenge videos. As you can see, the lipless crankbaits, jerkbaits, soft and hard. The topwater, spinnerbaits, curly worms, and Senko and finesse worms only. Now, I've tried the topwater challenge one time. That was not a success, you guys. So, I'm going to have to try that again. I think I'm going to give it two more tries. And if that does not work, I probably will not do that again. I'll just fish topwater randomly. I just don't have a lot of confidence in it. But I think for the next time I try, I'm going to bring frogs to that second pond. It has a lot of grass and i think in the evening we should be able to get some bites on that i've had blow-ups on frogs in that pond anyways let's go on with today's video we're gonna fish the kitex only i'll show you guys what i brought out swing impact we have rainbow shad 4.3 inch only a couple of that iu 4.3 inch bluegill flash 3.8 inch and we have some for the drop shot that's why i brought my drop shot rod this is a medium action ugly stick gx2 I believe it's eight pound mono on there and then i have the easy shiner four inch crystal shad swing impact 3.5 sight flash swing impact four inch pro blue red pearl and then the same bait but in sexy shad let's get to fishing you guys stay tuned all right i think i'm gonna try the drop shot here first and then we'll switch spots There we go. I saw him swipe it. Came out of that grass. Oh, first fish of the day. In about 10 minutes. Not bad. Fired up. He wanted that Kitech. So I think since we caught one on that color, I think that's that pro blue red shad. I had confidence in that color because I've caught bass on it before. We might have to switch colors now. First fish of the day, that's a little one. Let's toss him back in. Let's get back to fishing. All right, you guys, now we switched out colors. Exact same bait, same size, different color. Sexy shad. I think this one will work too. Let's try again over here. I'm gonna cast a little bit further. That fish, I think he was following it up, but I saw him swipe on it close to the grass edge here. Let's give it let's give it a steady retrieve again. Come on, bass. Come on. It's a good sign. We caught one. Got rid of the skunk very quickly. Kitech lures, they simply catch fish, you guys. The action is amazing.
up at you guys. And he threw that kite tick. Oh man. Hooked on the bottom of the mouth. Look at that. Popped right out of you. There we go. Barely hooked. Uh oh. How did his weight get tangled in him? Wow, the weight's trying to go through the gills. There we go. Bath number two. Very little one. But we'll take it. We'll take it. All right, you guys. Up next, we're going to throw the little Kitex Swing Impact 3.5 inch. That color is Sight Flash. I'm curious to see if they'll bite this. I have this one in two different sizes. I believe 3.5 inch and 4 inch. But I didn't bring the 4 inch since I had two of those in 4 inch already. So... We have one smaller bait to try out. I'm pretty sure they will bite this. You guys stay tuned. We got something. They bit it on the fall, you guys. Barely felt that one. <laughs> That's a little one. Bass number three. Oh, that is a little one. Man, you wanted that bait. Look how big you are compared to the bait. Wow. Crazy little bass. Oh, oh. He's ready to go. I think we're going to switch out to the bigger baits now. Hopefully, we're going to get a bigger bite. Of course, with the drop shot, you can constantly catch all these little fish. Eventually, you'll come across a big one. But let's go to the belly weighted hook again try and catch a fish on that you guys stay tuned all right you guys made my way over to one of my favorite points here and we're gonna go back to that texas rigged or should i say belly weighted hook i believe that's a four uh, ewg and the little swing impact or should i say bigger it's bigger than the ones we were throwing just now i believe this one is 4.3 inch let's give it a lot of slack line i like to give it a lot of slack line so that that bait falls down in the water vertically straight down and that little tail is just kicking on the way down and as you can see on that last fish they bit on the fall i barely felt that bite you guys that was a very little bass Ooh, there's a blow up come on be a bass be a bass be a bass come on bass come on i literally cast it right to that blow up There we go. There we go. You guys, this thing's pulling. Oh, he's swimming this way. There he is. Whoo! <laughs> That's like a two pounder. Whoo! We horsed him in, you guys. I did not want to miss him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax, relax. He is angry. Angry. Hooked on the side of the mouth. Look at that. It fell right out. That's definitely nice one of the day so far. I want to say it's about a pound and a half though. A little bit chunky. He wants to shake again. We're going to let him go. Nice one. I think that's bass number four on the Kite Tech. Let's put him back in. There he goes. All right, you guys. We definitely upgraded in size. We caught one on that 4.3 inch. A Y U, very weird to say that color. Now we're gonna switch out to the 4.3 inch rainbow shad. Hopefully we we'll catch one on this. Another good one at least. That one looked like it was close to two pounds, but I'm not gonna wait unless it's definitely close to three or over. 
let's rig on one of these you guys stay tuned Parallel this bank here to my right. Let's see. Come on, bass. Oh, I just heard a blow up. What was that? What was that? Bass, come on. There has to be something here. Nothing right along this bank. I know it's pretty shallow here, too. It might not be that shallow. Come on, bass, come on. He is jumping. Well, you guys, this is a good one. Oh, man. Now, this looks closer to a three right here. Oh, he needs to relax. He needs to relax. Relax, relax. He swiped that bait. Wow. Let's go get a quick weight on them. I think it is closer to three. And it's probably, if I had to guess it, I'm gonna say two pounds, eight ounces. We zeroed out the scale. Let's see. No way. Two pounds on the dot. He looks more than a two. We're going to double check him and put him back in. Yep, two pounds right on the dot. Hopefully that shows up pretty good. Two pounds. Oh, the battery's on 1%. We're going to let him back in. Whoa. He's angry. He's angry. Let's put him back in. Let's put him back in. There he goes. He's taking off right into that grass. Let's get back to fishing. All right, you guys. So now you can see we caught one on that IU and we caught one on Rainbow Shad. Up next is going to be that Bluegill Flash 3.8 inch. Pretty sure we'll get a bass to bite that. Look at that very natural color right there. I like the silver flash and the blue flex. I think that helps it really be seen, especially with a little bit of sunlight we had, we do have. I'm pretty sure we can continue to catch them on the drop shot too. I might have to tie on. Let me see real quick how many we have left. 
Oh, wrong side. So, so far on the drop shot, we caught him on that Pro Blue Red Pearl. We caught him on Sight Flash. And we caught him on that Sexy Shad. So, the only one left to fish is the Easy Shiner in Crystal Shad. And this Bluegill Flash. I'm going to rig them both on. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys. Switch sides. I was fishing that end of the pond over there off of that bank caught a bass over here caught some over here and the ones earlier that were by that tree way over there i want to try fishing along this wood here because last time i was able to catch some here there was a guy fishing so i didn't come here just yet oh oh i thought that was a hit already right on the fall are they hitting it come on bass come on no, no bite. I thought that was a bite. I was like, that's a pretty quick bite. They might hit it on the fall. You never know. That was a good cast right there. It's a little hard to feel the bite. It's a ton of grass. Let's get a little bit closer. There we go. No way. It was like two quick hits, but they did not get hooked. There we go. No way. He was carrying the bait. <laughs> I literally saw it go off to the right. So they must have hit it twice. But they did not get hooked, you guys. We got to try that again. We're going to catch one on this bait. I think we can. Another good cast. Come on, bass. Come on. All right, you guys, I'm going to switch back to that paddle tail. Let's see if we'll get a bite here with it. I think we should be able to. go oh it's taking off oh and he jumped right off man that was exciting wow We got one. We got one. Oh man. We got one. Yep. Caught one on that final Kitech drop shot lure. I said I was gonna leave, but I was like, you know what? We still got a little bit of sunshine. We should be able to catch one more. We did just that. Look at that. Bass number five or six. Very little one. There's a bunch of these cruising shallow right now. Let's give them a toss. All right, you guys, so as you can see overall, it was a very good day of fishing. Nothing super great, but I mean, we caught six fish, I wanna say in like two hours, pretty much two hours of fishing. And as you guys can see, that was the Kitech lures only challenge. It was a whole lot of fun. I like filming these type of videos. I mean, we're only fishing with one brand here, 
and you just go out with all the baits you have in that brand and try to catch some fish and as you guys can see we caught them on the four drop shot baits fishing that drop shot you know a very finesse technique you're gonna get bites i mean that's like one of the go-to's the drop shot and the ned rig are two of like the best finesse presentations to fish with so now from our little brand specific list we can scratch off the little kitek i'll give it a little check again we caught them on six baits out of the seven i didn't catch one on that sling impact bluegill flash but i know if we fished it longer we would have that bait like completely got torn these baits tear up very easily all the fish i caught on the drop shot that bait just flies off they start swinging kicking and jumping these are some they got completely destroyed normally where you hit the where you put the hook through right here in the little nose there goes cooper is getting some water he wanted to be in the video but like i said that bluegill flash we didn't catch one on this today but i have caught him on this on another other of my videos so i know it works that's one of my favorite colors right there that's kind of why i saved it for the end i had a feeling we would catch a fish on it we simply ran out of time the two that we did catch one on was that this is the rainbow shad 4.3 inch again that kitek swing impact fat that's like their main kitek's main lure i really like that bait if i had to pick in these drop shot style lures the swing impact or the easy shiner i definitely go with that swing impact i just have more confidence in them so i'm glad i have three packs here three different colors i'm gonna fish through all these baits and in the end i'll decide which ones i want to stock up on and i'm gonna order more of those so with these let's see what you get you get seven tails in this pack but with these you're gonna get eight that's basically eight fish because as soon as you catch one that bait's flying off the hook still a whole lot of fun sometimes the bait is still on there and you can keep fishing them but most of the time they're gonna fly off the hook that's just the nature of it as you can see these baits are very soft but they have a lot of good scent and a ton of good action very soft baits very wide kicking tails i had a lot of fun making this video anyways like you guys saw so we ended the day with six bass i believe if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and we're gonna continue with these brand challenge videos and these bait types as you guys can see, like I showed earlier, lipless, jerk baits, topwater, spinner baits, curly worms, Sanko slash finesse worms. And then I'm going to do also a missile baits challenge, six cents challenge, Yamamoto challenge, Guggen squad, bio spawn, and 10,000 fish. I've done some of these before. I've done the 10,000 fish. I believe I have in those, I have the, what is it called? The shimmer shad and the Sakushi bug. Those are the two baits I have from 10,000 fish. Anyways, we're getting off topic. This is the outro, but you guys know what's coming. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you to everyone who has been so far. We're getting a lot of thumbs up lately, and I'm continuing to gain subscribers. We're really close to 500. Keep, hit, keep hitting the subscribe button, you guys. I truly appreciate it. Anyways, that's going to be all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.